Okay kids, here is a really quick and dirty video on how to update your Erica Sins drum sequencer. You will need few things. Obviously, you would need the sequencer. You also need a computer, a MIDI interface, a MIDI cable, and a little program that will allow you to send SysX messages to your drum sequencer. Before we proceed, make sure you have connected the included MIDI cable to MIDI in on your drum sequencer. Then you need to connect your MIDI cable to your computer MIDI interface. In my case, it's MIDI Sport. Then you need to download an app. In my case, it's MIDI Aux, a free application. And you, you need to do a few things here. First of all, you need to go to Options and in the Options go to MIDI Devices and choose your MIDI device. You can see, in my case, it's right here, MIDI Sport Out B, which appears right here. Once you are done with that, uh, close that window, go to Options again, and this is a crucial thing. Whatever application you will use, you need to set the uh, buffers right here configure buffers to 64 bits. This is a crucial thing in order for this update to work. Once you've done that, click OK. Then you need to go to Erika Sin's site and download the uh, latest uh, the latest firmware file, which is right here. In my case 1.0356 this one right there when you download it go back to your application then click actions right there and go to um, send sysx file and choose the file you have just downloaded in my case this white, uh, this right here, but don't click it yet because when you click it, it's going to send it right away. Before you do so, you need to go to your uh, drum sequencer and power up the drum sequencer while holding those two buttons right there. Hold them while powering up, and there will be a message appearing on your screen saying waiting for an update. Now, I won't do that because I just did it, but one of you, uh, once you do that, do the action thing. Click the file right there, and it should start sending your SysX to your drum sequencer. And once you are done, power down your system again, and it is highly recommended that you initialize your drum sequencer. You do that by, again, holding Start, and stop this time together while powering up. Once you do that, there will be another message on the screen saying initializing. It'll take about 30 seconds and you are done. Thank you very much. I hope uh, this will help you <clears throat> somehow. Good luck. Bye-bye.